name is Miss Shambly. We are currently at Elko Middle School and this is my wonderful sixth grade English class and today we're going to learn about making predictions and we also have Miss St. James who will also be a part of this lesson. All right guys, now we have been reviewing making predictions, right? Yes. And we have been making predictions with fiction and nonfiction. So we're going to do a quick review with that. In front of you, you have a sort. Don't get it yet. We have a sort. And with your elbow partner, I want you to look at the items in the Ziploc bag. And what you will see are clues or text features that we use when we're making predictions with fiction and nonfiction. And we know that it kind of looks different when we're making predictions with those two different genres. Okay? So right now, I want your elbow partner to get a Ziploc bag and a colored piece of paper, and you guys will work together and place the clues and the text features under the correct category. So for instance, if I had subheading, if I had a card that said subheading, where would I put that? Under fiction or nonfiction? To help us to make predictions. Well, yes. Nonfiction. Nonfiction. Okay? So does everybody understand what we're doing at this time? Yes. Okay? So we're going to take about a good maybe two minutes. When I clap my hands, I need for you guys to pay attention and look at me up front. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's get started. All right. So. Okay. I see a couple more. So what did we put under, hmm, under fiction? What are some things that we look for during reading with fiction? Yes. Okay. Can we also look at the title before, before we read, though? Yes, with fiction. Title. Can we look at both of those in fiction and nonfiction? Yes. Yeah, and see, we can look at the title before we read, okay? That's what good readers do, make predictions before we read. Yes. What else? Okay. The character's thoughts. What else about the character that we look at during reading, while we're reading? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Sometimes we have fiction text that will have pictures in there. Not many, but some of those graphic novels, they have quite a few, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Character actions. Actions. The character's actions. What else? Yeah. What the character says. The character says. Awesome. Did I miss something for fiction? Or are we done? Yes. Setting. setting. Of course. How did I miss that? We have to look at the setting. Where is the story taking place? That can help us, too, to make predictions. Now, what about nonfiction? What do we look for, Amari, in nonfiction? Graphs. Graphs can help us. What else? Yes. Subheadings. Subheadings. Yes. Captions. Captions. Good old captions. We cannot miss the captions. Sometimes we look over captions. Yes. Graphs. Have graphs already. Yes. Uh, charts. charts. Are we done? No, no. we're not done. <clears throat> yes. Pictures. Pictures. <gasps> so do they share these? Yes, yeah, they share these. Okay. Is there one more? Yes. Okay, we have title. Yes. 
No, not in nonfiction, but good job. Good try. All right, so now that we have the things that we look for when making predictions before reading, with nonfiction, and during reading, we can look at all of these things in nonfiction, before, during, and even after. With fiction, these are the things that we look for while we're reading. With the title and with the pictures, we can make predictions. For instance, we have Freak the Mighty. You remember we made a prediction with yes. this book just based on the title and the picture, okay? All right, so we're going to focus on nonfiction today. What are we going to focus on? Nonfiction. nonfiction. So in front of you or at your table, and we're going to share this article. So I need the elbow partners to share this article. So you guys can Yeah, go ahead and put those back in your Ziploc bag. And then you're going to take out the first article that's on top, okay? You guys are going to share it. So at this time, make sure you put your stuff away, put the items away. Put that in the middle. Go ahead and put that in the So make sure your article is in the middle so both of you can view the article. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to model what good readers do. So this is article one, okay? I need your attention. All right. Choking on smog in Delhi. Hmm. Choking on smog, I'm going to pretend as if I don't know what smog is. But if someone's choking on smog, I know that obviously this is something that's not good for us, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to continue reading because it might give, us, give me a little bit more about what smog is, okay? So as the air turns toxic... Residents struggle to breathe. Okay, so I'm looking at my word choice here. The author used the word toxic. Is that a positive word or a negative word? Negative. It's negative. So when I think of toxic, I think of something that's harmful, dangerous, dangerous, harmful. I'm going to say harmful chemicals because I do know a little bit about toxics. I do know a little bit about, you know, my schema here. I have some prior knowledge. Yes, it's hazardous. I like that word even better. Thank you. I like that word even better. All right, so choking on smog in Delhi. As the air turns toxic, residents struggle to breathe. I have a question. Why? Why do they have so much smog? Did y'all think that right away? Is that a question that kind of popped up? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we find out based on our text features. So already, what text feature have I used already? Title. I've used the title. Okay? And a what? Subheading. Subheading. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the three that I have left. I have a crisis. I have emergency measures. I have we wear masks. What is literally in the middle of this paper? Picture. Smack dab in the middle. What is it? Picture. We have a picture accompanied with a what? What else do we have in that picture that kind of explains what's happening in the picture? What is that called? A caption. Okay, so now let me look at this here. Hmm. Whew, so we got somebody with a mask on. It's not clear, not clear. We have someone with a mask. Hmm. Huh. A crisis. What do we think of when we think of a crisis? Yes. It's like the dangerous and it's deathly. Like something's going on. A time of extreme danger. danger. Yeah. Let me go back to my caption. I went away from it for a minute. So it says, cars 
power plants, construction, and crop burning, as well as burning trash for warmth, all contribute to Delhi's air pollution. So do we have a cause as to what's going on with this smog? Did they give me another word for smog? What did they use? What's another word they use for smog? I'm going to read it again. Cars, power plants, construction, and crop burning, as well as burning trash for warmth, all contribute, contribute to Delhi's air pollution. Air, air pollution. What? Air pollution. air pollution. So I kind of have a synonym here, I guess you could say, for the word smog. Okay? I also have a map, don't I? Do I have a map? I do have a map. So it says emergency measures. Emergency measures. Hmm. When I think of measures, I think of procedures. So maybe these are things that they're doing to figure out how to deal with this smog situation. And then we have we wear masks. The only prediction I can make here is that it connects with this picture because the person is actually wearing a mask. So I'm going to go ahead and make my prediction. I predict this article will be about the people in Delhi Breathing harmful, toxic air and the effects that it has on them. Do we agree with that? Yes. Okay, so you just saw me do that. You just saw me use text features to make a prediction. Now I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay? okay? Now I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, guys. So you guys have a second article on your desk. So I want you guys to take that out. All right? Put that one on top. And that's what we do with Miss Shanley. I'm going to pass out a sheet for you guys. But this is what you do with Miss Shanley. You guys are going to look at the text features that stand out the most. Okay? All right? And I want you guys to list the text features that you see. All right, write them down. And after you guys do that, I want you guys to make a prediction. By looking at the text feature, what informational text structure do you think it's going to be? Do you think this is a cause and effect, a problem solution, sequence, chronological, compare and contrast? OK? So you guys are going to work, work with your elbow partner. And you guys are going to list the text features. And after you list the text features, I want you guys to make a prediction. Which informational text structure do you guys think it is? Okay? Real quick, guys, I actually forgot about something with the previous article. Now, we talked about the causes. And we also kind of predicted that there was going to be some type of harmful effect. So I was able to also to predict the organizational pattern of this nonfiction text. It was cause and what? Effect. Okay? If you just look at that article before you even read, look at your, um, what are those things called? I don't even know what, the, emojis. Look at the emojis. They actually help you to make a prediction about the organizational pattern before you even read. Who does not have one of these papers? All right. So this we're going to do with article two. And you can work with the partner, OK? So everything we're doing is going under article what? Two. two. Under what? Two. Article two. So go ahead and list the features that you think are going to help you to make a prediction. So what do you already have? You see a what at the top? Emojis. Emojis. Go ahead and write that down, where it says list features. What else do you have? Pictures. What else? Captions. What else? Subheadings. I got one person talking to me. What's right here? Right in the right in the front, in the middle. Yes. 
the title. Little pictures. Pictures. So let's list those. And I want you guys to work with a partner at this time. What are some text features that you see? Okay, what else? A caption? Or a text box? Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Evil